What's up guys, Darcizzle here from Darcizzle Offshore and I'm currently about to fillet some fish but first I gotta tell you about the video you're about to see. This video is the first video in a four part series documenting our recent trip to the Florida Keys. There is a ton of great fishing plus tips and tricks in this series but starting with this video we catch tarpon, permit, and a big shark that pops the hook boat side and almost takes our friend's eye out. So let's get right to it. <laughs> I'm not ready! <laughs> I'm not ready, I'm not talking. Darcilla's not ready yet, everybody. But while she's getting ready, I'll tell you guys what we're doing today. We're going fishing at a, at a big pine with tightened up charters, and today we're going with uh, our friend JT, and we're going on the Darcilla inshore flats boat and kind of do some inshore stuff. This is the sick uh, boat camp or fish camp behind me. They have the contender, flats boat, everything you need to go fishing. Hook them up. But uh, JT's getting anxious to get out there. He's going to show us some great spots. And we're gonna catch a ton of fish. Yeah, grab grab some land sharks though. Finally ready. Clock uh, cracking in fishing team today. But we're in the keys, so we're gonna catch fish. I think that that's all that matters. So gonna hop in the truck. Actually I gotta put one more thing in the boat. I'm ready to go. It don't matter as long as they got a little air on them, it's fine. Clubs pumping, five and on. Got 20 crabs and a bunch of shrimp. Three dozen shrimp. We got 26 crabs. 26 crabs. Bunch of bait, chum, two bags of two things of chum, which we need to get the fish worked up and active. But he's got like two or three bonitas, hopefully for some sharks or July poopers or something big. Here's a nice butt shot to JT today. No door sizzles, all JT today, everybody. No door sizzle. We're at the first fishing spot already. At the first fishing spot already, which was literally like just like a five minute boat ride. And it's a beautiful day, like I said, it's not too sunny right now and it's like perfect. I'm not sweating, it's not cold, it's awesome. So right now we are chumming the waters and looking for fish, in particular tarpon. And this is the area where they hang out and kind of just chumming the waters, getting it nice and bloody, hopefully creating that chum slick and bringing them to the boat here. So I'm getting rigged up on my Saragoza. I've got 50 pound leader here and I'm about to tie on an ADOT Mustad circle hook. And I just gotta get rigged up now so I can't talk. The nurse shark oh, you baby. got it. We might have to go lighter. We swim up to it and turn. We got a gummy in the boat. We call those gummies, also known as nurse sharks. And uh, they are right here in our chum slick along with the kudos and the other sharks, but nice little one. Gonna release them right now. We are trying to get this on the tarpon though. So the, the, with the low light conditions like they are right now and the sun not directly glaring down, we can not really see too well, but tarpon are swimming like within casting distance, 10 feet of the boat right here. So we're just pitching out baits and basically on my circle hook, he's attaching like one of the dead chunks of bait out there and just, you know, naturally letting it flow with the current. And hopefully we get another fish to bite, not a nurse shark. Not a big shark. It's a big shark. Bro, there was six of them right there. All right, we're chunking, we're chunking for tarpon, but also that brings up a lot of nurse sharks and cuda. So we're catching a bunch of nurse sharks, and Darcy's unfortunately got hooked up with a bigger nurse. So gotta break them off and get another one. That's how men take the hook out of the fish. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't even feel anything. Fucking smoked it, bro. Right away? Yeah, all right, the surface. All right, oh, ready. Oh, oh. All right. That's tarpon. I think that's tarpon. That's him. Power pole. Oh, yeah. We got a fish. Awesome. Hey, seven o'clock. He's ahead of it. Uh, no, he's right next to it. He's right in front of it. We're going to go right at it and figure out where he's at. Tip to him. He's around the trap. He's around the trap. He's around the trap. Which side to the it? left. Got it. She's clear. clear. You got a big right small right. He's right here. Right here. Alright. Oh, sick. He's right here. Beautiful fish. We got a tarpon. Awesome. What a smart fish. He's staying right around this crab trap. That's twice now. 
So for us today, we were we wanted to use 50 pound fluorocarbon, which is actually honestly perfect for catching tarpon here in the Keys. And after throwing the, fit, the 50 pound out there with the hook and the bait, the dead bait, the fish were really finicky and like didn't want to eat it with the 50 pound leader on there. So we dumped it down to 30 pound leader, which is what I'm using right now, but that's what they were taking today. That's what they're eating. So it's beautiful fish. Oh, look at it. Beautiful. And this is one of the bigger ones that was in our chump slick. I will take it. I'll take a tarpon any day. But uh, we got the 30 pound leader, so I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to try to keep them hooked, but uh, you never know. right in the corner too. Definitely an officially caught fish. Sorry for this. Sorry for you got stuff on the lens. Water on the lens. Hold on. He's right here, bro. Let's line up. There he is. Oh. No biggie. Yeah. Let me get that hook at him real quick. All right. Yeah. Hold on. Well, we don't want to kill the fish. So one, one level. He's all right. Accomplished. Awesome. Awesome, he's right there. Beautiful fish swimming away. There he is. He just rolled and got some air. Fish is gone. Wanted to get a little bit better picture, but those fish, you know, that's why they're, they're protected. You don't bring them out of the water. That was a small one, so we were able to take them out of the water real quick to remove the hook. But amazing fish to start the day, and we're going to move on to the next spot. All right, guys, we're just showing you Little Palm a little bit. It's like where the rich and famous people go when they come down here. It's called Little Palm Island, very exclusive. But you can see it's really still not open at all from the hurricane and torn up, they're building the docks. But uh, you know, still some effects down here. So come down to the Keys, spend your money, go to the restaurants, all that great stuff. Important, important to support the fishing. Be real quiet, don't make a lot of noise. Okay. Vermin in the area. I'm already exhausted. Come on, come on, there you go, get I'm mine now. My mind. Come on. Probably like a half a fish. <laughs> come on. He's scared, he's Just running at the boat. Come on, Something's come to the bow, come to the bow. No, he's coming this way. He, if he goes under, yeah, just keep your kid down and there you go. He's under the boat. There you go. There's a net. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Brian. What the? Hey, did I not? Who's awesome. your daddy now? Hey, did I not save you? Drifted a shrimp. What? I said, you might get lucky and catch one. 20 you feet up on the BG. One. Here, let's. On the Daiwa, what? 25 and, and the, and the, 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 and the sailfish rod. <laughs> this is the sailfish rod. Don't stop, really. Don't stop. Keep going. Same rod. <laughs> <laughs> a solid permit. Nice. That is sick. That is sick. <laughs> nice job, Brian. Same ride. All right, so who's taking the picture? Yeah, Brian, it's your fish. That's oh. right. Well, they're fooling around making fun of Putin. I'm catching permit. Look how beautiful. You, you don't keep those, right? No. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful permit. I'm just going to drop him head first, but now I got to get one. Really he gone. Good. That's awesome. Can't believe Brian just caught that on that 2500 spinning reel. Freaking permit fight, man. We almost, it almost got spooled too. So we're going to go ahead and drop our lines down and hopefully we get one. That was crazy. He almost spooled this line this, on the, whatever, this 12 pound mono. It's nuts. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. I know I need to get it out. trying hard to catch a big shark or goliath on the bottom here at a wreck 
and we're in about 100 feet of water, still at the spot where Brian caught that freaking amazing permit on that tiny rod. And um, so he just dropped down like three shark baits and we just got pulled off on that one. But we think he, he went into the wreck. But these big fish, there's no stopping them sometimes. So Brian was backing up the boat. We're about to sink. And um, we got a ton of water in the boat now, but we're trying to catch these big fish and he just popped off, so. All right, go forward so we can get it out. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, oh. Get back up again. Going again. <laughs> Big fish. Off. back that was a big shark of course they get much bigger <laughs> but uh that is definitely a fight for the both of us even just handlining that fish that's that's crazy but the thing just started going crazy shaking its head going nuts and he was able to swing that like huge j hook out of its mouth and it went buzzing by jt's head which he almost could have got buried or hit really hard with that so dangerous but we got the hook back we got the, the rig back ready to go so we're gonna drop one more time and see what happens again You're welcome. Hello. We're gonna have a nice land shark vlogger and wrap up our day here. But today was an epic day on the water with JT, also Big Piner. Those are what the locals are known around here. But we had a great day. Got the tarpon in the morning. We got offshore. We saw all those permit out there. Saw a ton of fish. Hooked that big shark, and then um, even caught some bait. So it was an epic day exploring, hanging out, and just learning more about the Florida Keys here. So I'm looking forward to another day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you stay tuned for our next upcoming videos here in the Florida Keys. And make sure you hit that subscribe bit, the subscribe button and the bell notification so you receive updates on our videos. And we're going to enjoy Land Shark Vlogger right now. So until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. And tighten up. And tighten up. Sorry, my bad. Tighten up charters. Big Pine Key. Link in the description below. Awesome. Thank you.